This could be the first car in the world to use the new hybrid battery. When I say hybrid battery, I'm not talking about hybrid. I'm talking about combining sodium ion battery cells with lithium cells. There's a good reason for why CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, has chosen to do this. So Mark from China, he has just recorded a video for us. He's our correspondent in China. And he's recorded a video on this, this new car, which is it's insane. It's truly mind-blowing. And honestly, I think this is why Legacy Auto are in trouble. If you look at the features in this car for the price, how much it costs, what you're getting, you're getting dual 36-inch screens, you're getting these... The interior of this car is so completely different to cars today. The way the seats are, it ch completely changes the vehicle. And it, it kind of makes you think of a car more as, I don't know, my mind's kind of thinking to myself, this almost redefines what it's like to be in a car, to be sitting in a car. After he filmed the video, the price and the specs for this car were released in China. Now, this is a hybrid. It's a plug-in hybrid. And... The price starts at $45,000 US dollars. And, and I think this means it's one of the best value cars in the world. I'm not a big fan of hybrids. You guys know that. But this is the kind of vehicle where I can understand why a hybrid would potentially make sense for a lot of people in this you know, situation where you, you're going to buy a, a car that's this big. It's nearly 5.3 meters long. It's a big seven-seat vehicle, six or seven seats, depending on what you want. Speaking of the price, though, there is three different models. So it starts at $45,000. I believe the version in the video you're about to watch where Mark's actually in the car showing you all the details, how everything, this revolutionary new car, in a lot of ways it is revolutionary, how it actually works, the features. I think that model is approximately $50,000 US dollars, but there is another model for $55,000 US dollars as well. It's incredibly good value though when you consider that price. So the actual size, it's 5,240 millimeters long. It's bigger than a Toyota Land Cruiser. It's two meters wide, and the wheelbase is 3,160 millimeters. Even though it's you know bigger than a Toyota Land Cruiser, cheaper than a Land Cruiser, much better than a Land Cruiser, it's actually more similar to something like a, a Range Rover, but it's bigger than a Range Rover as well. It's powered by a 1.5 liter turbo engine, which has a maximum output of 140 kilowatt. That's about 190 horsepower, but that's connected to two motors. It's got a 160 kilowatt electric motor at the front and a 230 kilowatt electric motor in the rear, meaning total system power is astronomical, 530 kilowatt. It means it can do zero to 100 in 4.8 seconds. Can you see my point now? 45,000 US dollars for a car this size with a luxury, you're gonna see the luxury in this car, it's amazing. With this kind of power, 530 kilowatt, that's what, 750, about 700 horsepower. There's nothing outside of China that can come remotely close to repeat, to competing with this car. Now, the other two variants have even more power. They have about an extra 100, about an extra 100 horsepower, so they can do zero to 100 in 4.3 seconds. Now, of course, you don't need that extra power, but you can get it if you want. So. How actually does it drive? Well, it uses a 45 kilowatt hour battery. So that's a pretty big battery. It means the battery in this, even though this is lighter than the BYD Shark and actually shorter and smaller than a BYD Shark, it's got a much bigger battery. It's a 44.9 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery, meaning electric only range is 220 kilometers CLTC. So WLTP electric only range is probably going to be about 160 kilometers, meaning I'd say 98% of driving for most people would be electric only. You can actually get it. The other two variants, the mid-spec variant and the high-grade variant actually come with a much bigger battery. It's a 52.4 kilowatt hour battery from CATL and it's called the Freevoy battery. That gives it 280 kilometers of range on the battery alone. So you can see how this would be an electric car almost all the time, except for the very rare road trips where maybe you're driving 1,000 kilometers, 2,000 kilometers, and you just use it as a hybrid. So this is a revolutionary car in numerous ways because it also uses sodium ion batteries. It's a combination. It's a hybrid battery. The Freevoy battery is actually a hybrid where the battery uses sodium ion, battery, sodium ion cells and lithium ion cells, meaning you get the best of both, both worlds. Actually, the car in really, really cold temperatures 
it handles charging extremely well. That's one of the drawbacks with lithium batteries. When you're looking at, say, minus 20 degrees, uh, EV, EV batteries can take a bit longer to charge, quite a bit longer. But the Freevoid battery overcomes that because it combines sodium ion and lithium cells. Now, in total, Lincoln Co., they say the combined range is 1,443 kilometers. That's CLTC. So you're probably looking at about 1,100 kilometers WLTP for combined range. Realistically, there's no other cars on the market in America or in Europe that have this kind of range, that are in this category, that are this big. So really, in a lot of ways, this car is amazing. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Electric Viking. Mark here again in China, and I'm here with an absolutely fascinating plug-in hybrid product here behind me, which is the Lincoln Co 900. I'm gonna spin the camera around, show you a lot about this car because there's really a lot going on. Let's check it out. Yes, this is the Lincoln Co 900. Lincoln Co, of course, were previously part owned by Geely and Volvo. They're now part of the Zika group. So they've been kind of merged together with Zika, but still their own brand. This car is their biggest SUV yet, a full 5.24 meters long, which makes it longer than a standard wheelbase Range Rover, tiny bit shorter, about 15 millimeters shorter than a long wheelbase Range Rover. And you'll see there are a lot of kind of Range Rover elements Elements. Even the tail lamps look a bit like a Range Rover and the kind of the overall angle of the rear pillar there and the A pillar as well. You might have noticed the seats look a bit funny inside. I'll come on to that in a minute. But as I said, this is a plug-in hybrid EV. That means that it comes with either a 1.5 or a 2-litre engine in the front, as well as the DHT dual hybrid transmission from Geely, which means that there's also an electric motor in there as well. So an engine and a motor at the front, and then you can either get a single or a dual motor on the rear with 170 kilowatts of power, each of them. So it can have a serious amount of power, basically about 700 and something kilowatts of power and well over a thousand Newton meters of torque. So it's a seriously meaty piece of kit they here. Now, a few interesting features to talk about, one of which is this LED light bar across the front here with this little animation of a cat on there. 10,192 LEDs on there to project different images. You can talk to this car from the outside, by the way. Also play music on the outside, so it's a real kind of family-friendly vehicle. Active grille down there that opens and closes for aero and for ventilation at the same time. And it is a big bonnet. I mean, check it out. Really long bonnet. You've got the same H-shaped daytime running lights that you get on a lot of Lincoln Co's. We also, by the way, get up here a 128 line LiDAR unit, as well as an, millimeter, uh, an ultra millimeter wave radar down there at the bottom. That one can see 280 meters. The LiDAR can see up to 200 meters. This car in the fanciest version, which comes with, by the way, this is the first car in the world that comes with NVIDIA's 4U chip which gives it 700 tops of computing power, can do level three autonomous driving. The lower versions come with a, an NVIDIA RNX chip, a single one, so 256 tops of power. That will just do highway autonomous driving. This one is one of the ones that only does the highway stuff. But as I said, you can get this car equipped to do level three autonomous driving on highway and urban roads as well. It sits on the Spa Evo platform. For those of you who know Volvo, you know that that's a platform that they developed. Spa Evo is the, the evolution of that, let's say, so that you can, uh, especially it's the safety of a Volvo, but in a bigger car. I mean, Volvo don't make a car as big as this one. Some interesting features on the outside to go along with that. You've got the kind of the floating mirror on the side with this sort of black panel up there, twin, cameras on there another one further down lincoln co lit up on there 21 inch wheels on this very big meaty alloys they look super impressive so there's a truck going past super meaty big brake calipers in there as well pop out the door and you get a foot plate to step up on as well i'm not showing you the interior just yet because i want to save up for that bit now this car again interesting because it comes with catl's free void battery so it'll do 3C charging, seven, uh, 20 to 80% in 17 minutes. You get either a 43 kilowatt hour battery or a 50 kilowatt hour battery. 
So much like BYDs, it really does kind of skirt the line between being a plug-in hybrid and an extended range. You can get up to 280 kilometers of EV range on this. And if you use the engine combined, over 1,400 kilometers of range. And it's a seriously meaty piece of kit. You can as well get a roof rack on this, which will support up to 300 kilograms of the, while the car is static and 100 kilograms while the car is on the move. Let's now check out the tailgate. By the way, there's your cool Lincoln Co lettering on the back. And again, loads of pixels in here so you can customize your tail light design on this car. Will this one be coming to international markets? Absolutely, it will. Now, let's have a look in the back. As I said, split tailgate design on here. You can sit on here. So there you go, check that out. That's me sat on the tailgate. 300 kilograms of weight support on there. So you can get three people of my size sat on there. There's your kind of a roof up there. All electronic, of course. Not a massive amount of space in the back of this car. They don't tell you exactly how much, probably because there isn't that much in there. But there's 20, 20 liters of storage under the boot floor. You also get a 220 volt socket in there as well. And then controls so that you can either slide these rear seats forwards like that or controls so that you can pop them down so they go down electronically like that give you much more space in this cabin and i'm just revealing a little bit of a secret there about the interior of this car but i'll come back onto that again in a minute it does come with air suspension so you can raise and lower it by 40 millimeters up or down so 80 millimeters of travel in total and for those of you who want to do traveling and stuff you also get an electronic tow bar that pops out there as well it will tow up to two tons so it's a real workhorse this car let me just pop up those headrests again so that's the back of the lincoln co 900 now let me go and show you this fascinating interior because there's really nothing like it oh by the way check this out get yourself some kind of haptic buttons here so i don't even pull in the handle see watch the gap there all i have to do is touch it hang on let me close it again all i have to do is touch it there you go, it pops open. Don't even have to pull it. So then you get this. This is the functionality of the Lincoln Co 900. It's a six seater SUV where you can turn the second row 180 degrees and have this massive space to chill out with your friends or your buddies or work colleagues or whatever. Here on the side, let me hold down this button and show you what this does. So you'll see now our front seat starts to slide, maneuver itself a little bit around that B pillar. This will take a few seconds to achieve. Now, if you have children and child seats, this is the easiest way to get them into their child seat by turning the seat 90 degrees. That's very funky, isn't it? So you can also just sit here and do fishing if you want. You can just sit on this seat, look out the window, and uh, go fishing from the side of your car. These windows, by the way, come with sun blinds on there as well, so you can hang those up there. Let me now pop this front seat back round again to its proper size, proper direction, I should say. And I'll go around the other side and do the same thing with the other because it is a normal car most of the time. Let me press this button down here. Now, first of all, we're going to complete the manoeuvre with that seat over there. And you'll see, when that seat does finish rotating, just how much legroom you get in the third row. So there's loads of space there. Notice the front seat now starts to slide back into position so you can be a normal driver. You can have the seats facing backwards with the front seats in position as well. So earlier, I was sat in this seat whilst the car was driving, which again was really cool. I'll press that button again to make my seat come back into its right position. You see we get a 220 volt socket down here as well. So you can also plug in a projector, for example. Those rear seats come with heating and eight point massage functions. And you get controls on the side here where you can do that. You can control either the third row seats or the second row seats electronically. USB-C sockets in there as well. And some pretty meaty speakers over there in the D pillar. So as our seat now comes back into its normal position, the second row seats, these come with a leg rest down here. Again, this front seat starts to move back into position. Heating, ventilation, and 16 point massage on these rear seats. They also come, of course, with armrests, and you can charge your phone from the seat, either 27 watts on that one or 60 watts on this seat here. Now, 
this car does have some very nifty features as well as the ones that I've just shown you. Two panoramic roof or glass windows up there, more than two meters squared of light in the car. Let's just have a quick look at the dashboard. Over there, we've got ourselves a 30 inch 6K screen running on the Snapdragon 8295 processor. That's the best one out there on the market at the moment. You can have that as a single screen all the way across, or you can have it split screen as you see now. But that's not the only 30 inch 6K screen in this car because we also get one up here in the back, which is absolutely crazy. Check this out, look at that. 30 inch 6K screen, pair of those in the car, one over there, one up here. This one also comes with gesture control. So you can also control it with gestures as well. And you can do this one split screen too. So you can watch one movie on that side and another movie on this side. Now, what facilitates that? Well, that would be our 31 speaker, 2,640 watt sound system. So you get two speakers in this headrest, two in here, two in there and two in this headrest as well. So you can all listen to your own different things in the car. 7.1.4 surround sound. So it's a proper audio experience in here. Let's come back down to this screen because down here you can control your heating and ventilation for your second and third row seats and your massage. We also get a fridge. So this drawer here, is a nine liter drawer with, that I can store basically 10, 330 mil cans in there. It can go 50 degrees. Oops, sorry, let's go back to the fridge again. 50 degrees to 35 degrees to heat stuff up or put it on the cold one. You can go all the way down to minus six and 10 degrees. So you can put ice creams in there if you want to as well, which again, very, very funky. Now let's talk about the front of the car. As I mentioned, that one comes with an 8295 chip. This one, by the way, also comes with an 8295 chip. So eight, uh, sorry, so two 8295 chips in the Lincoln Co 800. We also get, by the way, a 95 inch augmented reality head up display, 95 inches. And that one shows you visually your blind spots in the, in the augmented reality head up display when you put your indicators on, which is really quite cool. One final screen just down there behind the steering wheel for your usual functions. You get twin 50 watt wireless chargers on here. You get twin USB-C sockets in this space under the dashboard. You get a pretty big glove box in here as well. The front seats also come with heating, ventilation and 16 point massage at the same time. You get your sunglasses holder up here. You also get yourself a pretty cool sun visor that comes down there with extra stuff and a big long mirror inside if you uh, if you want to do very wide makeup, also get a camera up there as well, which you can open and close as you wish. Electronically adjustable heat um, reach and rake on the steering, which is adjusted by a, a switch on the side of the steering column down there, which is the way to do it. Plus you've got your electric mirrors as well, bit of extra storage in that pocket there as well. And yeah, this is just an absolutely mega SUV. As I said, it should be coming to Australia at some point. It does give us a bit of a preview, by the way, of what to expect from the Zika 9X, which is kind of maybe the even bigger brother of this car, as and when that one comes out. But no prices on this one yet. We're expecting about 350,000 RMB as the starting point, but we're not entirely sure. It could be more than that, we'll have to see. It's a lot of car for the money. It is basically a Range Rover on steroids, most likely for about half the price. And it's just incredible, incredibly powerful, super cool air suspension, continuous damping control. So it's quick, it's smooth, it's quiet. It's got more tech than you could possibly desire from your car. It's the ultimate family friendly vehicle that is the Lincoln Co. 900.